I'll tell you what I think is overrated. Melatonin. Okay. Let me tell you why. So many people walk into the store and they just buy melatonin and they think it's like a sleeping pill. Bro, it's not a sleeping pill. Melatonin is not a sleep initiator. It's a sleep regulator, meaning it changes your bedtime schedule, but it does not actually make you feel sleepy. There are two separate systems in the brain. One is called your sleep drive. The other is called your sleep rhythm. The drive is what makes you sleepy. Melatonin has almost no effect on that unless you're over the age of 55, in which case we have seen some data to suggest that melatonin supplementation makes sense at that time. But as a general guideline, most people don't need melatonin and they use it like they would take an Ambien, right? So they pop one and then they close their eyes and go to sleep. Here's the thing. Based on the format, if you take melatonin in a pill or a tablet, it takes almost 90 minutes for it to take an effect. So when you take it at 11, it's not even kicking in until 1230. So melatonin is not what you would take. Melatonin is used for jet lag. Melatonin is used for shift work, right? So times where your body schedule needs to be changed, right? Like when you're on an airplane and headed to Paris or when you're working the night shift. Um, believe it or not, even in some ADD and ADHD cases, we've seen melatonin be very helpful. But at the end of the day, melatonin is not a sleeping pill. Another big thing that I think is overrated is melatonin for children. I'm going to go on the, uh, out and say this is dangerous. Most mm -hmm. people don't know this. Melatonin is by prescription only in most places outside of the United States. So you actually have to get a doctor to give you a prescription for this stuff because it's a hormone. OK, I can't. And by the way, in Europe, it's used as a contraceptive. Yes, you heard that correctly. It stops birth. So it is a birth control pill in Europe. I can't think of anything worse for a young female developing body than to institute melatonin when it's completely unnecessary. By the way, most children produce four times the amount of melatonin that they need for sleep. So all you're doing is adding insult to injury here. There is, however, one group of children where melatonin is is positive and does work and that's with children on the autism spectrum um, there has been significant data to show and at fairly high dosages we're talking four five six milligrams now you notice what i said six milligrams is a high dose okay that's the other big problem 95 percent of melatonin is sold in an overdosage format the correct dose is somewhere between a half and one and a half milligrams per night okay so most people are taking three, five, even 10 milligram gummies. And here's how you know you're overdosing. You get weird dreams when you overdose. And by the way, most people don't know this part either. Melatonin affects certain medication and makes it less effective. Antidepressants become less effective. Diabetes medications become less effective. And blood pressure medications become less effective. I got to be honest with you. Taking a supplement that makes all of those things less effective, if, if those are issues for me, is a bad freaking idea. So I tell people all the time, don't just walk into the health food store or go down the supplement aisle, grab your melatonin gummy and think that everything is OK. It's not OK. Mel that's not what melatonin is supposed to be used for. And you're using it inappropriately. I can find seven different things that can help you fall asleep better than melatonin probably can. Wow. I mean, if you know how many people are on the melatonin you know, uh, so oh, I'll tell you, I'll crazy. tell you a crazy story. So I yeah. did a special on that. We have a television show here uh, called Dr. Oz, or at least it used to be on. You might be familiar with uh, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Oz. Definitely. And so Oz, Oz is an old friend and we did a whole melatonin expose where we talked all about this. Within three weeks, melatonin sales started to drop. It was amazing how many wow. people are out there. I mean, we're talking millions and millions of people are taking this. And it's it's really inappropriate to do. So I think that's certainly something that's overrated for mm. sure.